Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I know he lives. There's a witness in my heart that he lives. Standing on the right side, looking up above, I can tell that I know that he did. I serve a living, I serve a living God. I serve a living, I serve a living God. He is new every hour, he is new every day. I do serve a living God, he's alive. He is new every hour, he is new every day. I do serve a living God, he's alive. Hallelujah, my God. The God of the Bible that I read is alive. He is the one and only true living God indeed. The God that does the impossible, that turns the impossible to possible. The God that can do all things, yet he is the God that can never, never lie. He does not have the ability to lie, nor the possibility. He is God. He is all powerful. He is all knowing. He is all seeing. He is all caring. He is all loving. He is all everything good. And I just want to testify this morning before we read of the goodness of God and of his faithfulness in my life and in the life of my family. Our God is good. This God, this God, he is good. Good is not enough word to describe his goodness. But then that is the language that we have to, to, to communicate. But God this God, the God, the Father, the God and the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he is good and faithful. Everything you read about him in the Bible is true. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. He hears us when we cry. He cares about us. He vindicates us. Hallelujah. He vindicates us. This God, he will vindicate you. Just wait. He will do it. And I just want to testify of the God's goodness and of that which he has done massively in these days in my life. To him be all the glory. To him be all the praise. To him be all the honor. And he's still doing it. And he will perfect it in Jesus' name. Amen. And with that, I say good morning or good afternoon, good whatever time of the day it is, wherever you are. Once again, this is Ija Sagatisa, your host for the reading of the Bible as it is on Fires Rains International Facebook page. Glory to God. Welcome to this glorious morning. Welcome to this glorious day. Hallelujah. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know why I laughed? I just remember the year when the Lord uh, gave me the, 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 the mandate so to, to, to give a word of encouragement every morning for like 10, 15 minutes. And I perceive that will be coming back again. Hallelujah. Every day for three and 365 days. And every day was a fear not word. And the fear not word series will be coming back to the glory of God. Every day without fail for 365 days. Whoa, hallelujah. God is faithful. Glory to God. We're going to take it all over. Fear not, fear not, fear not. Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> hallelujah. Let's share a word of prayer, a word of thanksgiving as we go before we go into the reading of the word. Father, I just want to thank you this morning. Thank you for the opportunity to bring your word once again. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your all that you are and all that you do. Lord, thank you once again for your word that is about to go. Spirit of the living God, breathe upon this word. Cause your word to, to, to grow mightily and prevail over the airspace, over the land space, over the hearts of men. Let your word come alive in the name of Jesus. And let the name of Jesus be highly exalted. To the glory and praise of the Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Last week we couldn't finish. Uh, we started with the book of Second Timothy. But due to some technical which we couldn't go through it to the end. So today we're just going to take again 
the book of Second Timothy. So without much ado, I'm sharing my screen as we begin to read the Bible. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. And as always, we declare that the Bible contains the word of the one and only through living, eternal, sovereign God. And it's of his son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. And he is the soon coming king. Jesus is the only Savior of the world. We are therefore enjoined to read, to meditate, and to study. To study, to meditate, and to meditate on the word of God. Our anchor scriptures are always Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3, Psalm 19, verses 7 to 11, John chapter 5, verse 39, and of course, Second Timothy 2, 15. And like I said, this is the book of Second Timothy, and I subtitle it, of Spirit of Power, of Love, and of a Sound. Second Timothy chapter 1, greeting. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, a beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from the God and Father, from the God, from God the Father and Jesus and Christ Jesus our Lord. So, Timothy's faith and heritage. I thank my God, whom I serve with a pure conscience, as my forefathers did. As without season, I remember you in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see you, being mindful of your tears, that I may be filled with joy when I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice, and I'm persuaded is in you also. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you, through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Not ashamed of the gospel. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share with me in the sufferings for the gospel, according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began, but now has been revealed by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who has abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, to which I was appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles. For this reason, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I'm persuaded that he's able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Be loyal to the, to the faith. Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me in faith and love, which are in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed to you by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. This you know, that all those in Asia have turned away from me, among whom are Phygelos and Hermogenes, and Hermogenes. Hermogenes, I think. The Lord grant mercy to the household of Onesiphorus, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he arrived in Rome, he sought me out very zealously and found me. The Lord grants to him that he may find mercy from the Lord in that day. And you know very well how many ways he ministered to me at Ephesus. You know, this letter is so intriguing, it contains some very important nuggets that, you know, when you read, you might just overlook. So God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. So as a child of God, you've got a sound mind. And you cannot be afflicted with an unsound mind. Glory to God. 
by because you have the spirit of a sound mind. So we activate the spirit of sound mind over our souls in the name of Jesus. And it tells, tells us that God, according to his power, has called us with a holy calling, not according to our works. No wonder it is not of him that will it, not him that will it. Well, God who shows mercy, it is God who decides. You know, it brings me to that scripture that uh, 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 in First Corinthians uh, chapter 12, I think it's around verse 24, that says, God has placed every part of the body where he desires. Actually, where he desires, because he, he made the body and the function where he puts it. So also he has put us in this body when he called us with this holy calling. Hallelujah. And then we also discover that Christ, Jesus Christ, abolished death and brought life and immortality to life through the gospel. So when you receive the gospel, you come into life and immortality. Glory to God. And look at the confidence of Apostle Paul in Christ Jesus. Say, for I know in whom I have lived. Second Timothy chapter 2. Be strong in grace. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. This is always my heart desire. Now, if God brings me across somebody and helps, you know, through me teaching some, my, someone, my desire is that that person will be able to communicate the same thing to others. You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. And also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. The hard-working farmer must be first, must be first to partake of the crops. Consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for which I suffered trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of chains, for the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. This is a faithful saying. If we died with him, we shall also live with him. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. He cannot de de deny himself. Meaning that God can never be faithless. God can never be unfaithful. He always remains faithful. He never says. Your lack of faith will not make God unfaithful to his word. Hallelujah. Isn't that lovely? The word of God is not in change. Approved and disapproved workers. Remind them of these things. Charge them before the Lord not to strive about words to no profit to the ruin of the hearers. And this is what I say to everyone that God brings to me that don't stay there arguing and about the veracity of the word of God or not. Do not argue. Do not babble about the word of God. If somebody says the word of God is not living, it, the word of God is as life and will prove himself at all times. Let's read on. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God. A worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This is my best verse here that, you know, in the old King James says that uh, you study to show yourself approved unto God, not unto your pastor, not unto your leader, not unto anyone, but unto God. So you be a worker of God who does not need to be ashamed because you rightly divide the word of truth, which is the word of God. Glory to God. But shun profane and idle babblings, for they, they will increase to more ungodliness. 
and their message is spread like cancer. Hermanias and Philetus are of the sort who have strayed concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection is already past, and they overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands, having the seal. The Lord knows those who are his. And let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. If you name the name of Jesus, depart from everything that is iniquity. Hallelujah. But in a great house, there are not only verses of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some for honor, some for dishonor. May you be a vessel of honor in Jesus' name. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. In other words, if you will you know, depart from iniquity and, and everything that is ungodly, you will be a vessel unto honor. Flee also youthful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate strife. Yes, and the servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient, in humility, correcting those who are in opposition. If God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his work. So as believers, we should be apt, able to teach the word of God in all humility. We we'll correct those who are in opposition if they will receive correction, God granting them repentance. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 3. Perilous times and perilous men. But this know that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, hurty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. And from such people, turn away. For this for of this sort are those who creep into households and make captives of gullible women loaded down with sins, led away by various lust, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. I think this explains itself. <laughs> now, as James and Jambes resisted Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, disapproved concerning the faith, for they will progress no further, for their folly will be manifest to all, as theirs also was. The man of God, the word of God. But you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, love, perseverance, persecutions, afflictions which happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions, what persecutions I endured. And out of them all the Lord delivered. Yes, and all those, all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. If you truly desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus, you will suffer persecution. It is a part and parcel of the package. We read it before in Philippians chapter 1. 
But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and, be, and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Hallelujah. And lastly, 2 Timothy chapter 4, preach the word. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead that is appearing and in. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers and they will turn their their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. And this particular word that Apostle Paul spoke, we are saying it right now. We are saying it right now. Some churches like the Church of England, a part of them joining to, 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 to preach the wrong word for same-sex marriage, excuse me. The word of God remains sure. Husband and wife is man and woman. Let's read them. Pause validatory. For I am being poured out as a drink offering. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness with the Lord, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearance. They are bad on that also. Be diligent to come to me quickly, for them as has forsaken me, have loved this present world, and has disparted for Thessalonica. Crescens for Galatia, Titus for Damatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is useful to me for ministry. And Tychicus I have sent to Ephesus. Bring the clock, clock that I left with Kapos at Troas when you come, and the books, especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm. May the Lord repay him according to his works. You also must beware of him, for he has greatly resisted our works. At my first defense, no one stood with me, but all forsook me. May it not be charged against them. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me so that the message might be preached fully through me and that all the Gentiles might hear. Also, I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion and the Lord would deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Great Prisca and Aquila, and the household of Onesiphorus. Erastus stayed at Corinth, but Trophimus I have left at Miletus sick. Do your utmost to come before winter. Eubulus greets you, as well as Prudence, Linus, Claudia, and all the brethren. The grace, the Lord Jesus Christ, be with your spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. And with that, we come to the end of the book of 2 Timothy. And next book is the book of Titus. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful. And I will encourage you to go over that book again and again. 
Every word of God is to tell us who we are and to tell us how much God loves us and all that God wishes and desires for us. And every word later, there is an encouragement for us to move on. Hallelujah. And with that, we'll come to the end of today's reading. Once again, this is Ijoz Agatisa. May the Lord bless you this week. The Lord keep you. The Lord strengthen you. The Lord surround you as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem and give you peace all round in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.